I was always able to adjust to whoever was behind center and brought out the best in them. But yeah. if I had to pick one, it probably would be uh, uh, Joe Montana because we had great chemistry. Yeah, it, it, it obviously growing up and watching you and just, you know, idolizing you from afar. When I had an opportunity to whoop your ass, though, in Super Bowl 37, I took <laughs> I took pride in that. But look, in Super Bowl 37, the Buccaneers. Thanks a lot, hey, thanks a lot for that. Man. I appreciate it. Hey, and you brought back bad rem- memories for me. But it's so it's all good. You wouldn't play. sign my ball, Jerry. I was there. <laughs> yeah, Jerry, Jerry, that's true. My son was young. Keyshawn was young, right? And you were yeah, after the game, obviously the game was over with. Yes. And Kiki was what we call him. He went up uh-huh. to you to sign the autograph, and obviously you wasn't very happy. Oh, my God. <laughs> it was after a loss. I, I get it now, but when I was hey, four dude, or five, I took dude, it a time. He couldn't, where I was, couldn't, he believe, couldn't it. believe it. He couldn't believe it. That was believe at it. the wrong time. That was yeah, the wrong, wrong time. time. Wrong time. <laughs> he couldn't it. believe it. He was like, Jerry Rice wouldn't sign my ball. <laughs> I was like, son, we just whipped his ass. He ain't going to sign it. <laughs> so in Super Bowl 37, though, you obviously the Buccaneers and the Raiders, and the score was 48 to 21. You. Jerry backed Tim Brown's assertion that Coach Callahan intentionally hurt the Oakland Raiders' chances by changing the game plan two days before the game. Do you still feel that way right now? Well, well, because we we found out the morning of the Super Bowl that our center, he was found in a ditch uh, in Mexico. Mm -hmm. So we we had planned to run it. We had planned to run the ball. That was that, that was the game plan. And all of a sudden, uh, because we didn't have our starting center, uh, the entire game plan, uh, it was just thrown out the door. And I still felt like we should have ran the ball because we had uh, Charlie Garner and we had uh, uh, Wheatley. And I just felt like you guys didn't have an answer for that. But also, you got to think of this, too. Uh, John Gruden, uh, he knew Rich Gannon really well. He knew his tendencies. He, he sort of molded Rich Gandy, Gandy, Gannon. Uh, Rich Gannon into the quarterback that uh, he was able to become. So um, I, I remember John Lynch uh, lo- looking at that film because Keyshawn, it was hard for me. Like at, when losing a game of that magnitude of me going back, watching a game like that, but I had to do it because I had to uh, bring some closure to it and put it behind me. And I could hear John Lynch saying, hey, just stay at home. Just stay at home. You know, he's going to throw it backside. He's going to look front side. He's going to throw it backside. And whenever he threw it backside, it was uh, going for six for a touchdown. So, yeah, you know, we we sort of like, you know, because of losing our center and and changing our game plan, I, you know. So I was very shocked by that. And I think Tim was uh, shocked by that, too. Damn, they, we don't get no credit. Jerry, oh, no, 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 Jerry, Jerry, no, 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 give, no, no, you ain't giving me no, you ain't giving us no credit. No, no, I'm giving you guys credit. You guys won that Super Bowl. You won it. You won it. <laughs> no, I know. I'm just teasing you. Now, when you look back on your career, obviously you got accomplishments all over the board. Just turn around and look behind you. Balls and this and pictures and trophies and just everything <laughs> you could think of. I mean, what is your proudest accomplishment, Jerry, in your NFL career? Oh, my God, man. It's so many things. Uh, you, you know, being a great leader uh, on the football field, off the football field, you know, getting out in the community and having people to actually, you know, come up to you and and want your signature or take a picture uh, and, you know, being able to play the game at a very high level for over 20 years. And, you know, I, I know, you know, so many players, they base things around stats and all that, but I really love playing football. I love playing in front of thousand, you know, 30,000 fans. I I loved all of that. I love playing on the big stage, you know, uh, the Super Bowls and, and all of that. And, and, and I welcome that challenge of being exceptional on that day, mm-hmm. you know, because I felt I had uh, trained myself, to run, respond in a very, uh, you know, positive way. Because if I didn't put the work in during the week, I felt I didn't have a chance during that football game. So all of those things, uh, you know, factored into my, you know, success on the football field and off the football field. What 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 do you think ultimately, though, made you I the was best hungry. receiver to ever play? Hungry. 
hungry. Never felt like I had arrived, man. And, and still today, when I, when I hear people say, you know, you might be the greatest, uh, you know, receiver to ever play the game, it, it, it's, it's sort of like it freaks me out a little bit because I don't, I, you know, I, I always felt like I could give more. Mm -hmm. You know, there was more work out there. You know what I'm saying? Man, you was trying to get more in Denver, looking crazy at, at whatever, or however <laughs> old. Man, I said, man, I said, man, if Jerry don't freaking retire already. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> well, well, last hey, week, last hey, guys, week we no. had. Oh, go ahead. Go ahead. No, no, you go ahead. Well, I was going to say last week we had your son on All Facts No Breaks, but what was it like supporting him throughout his journey and seeing him follow in your footsteps? You know what? Just being a dad, man. I I'm serious. I, I do not throw anything on him. I'm I'm just there for support. If he wants to come to me and, and ask me about a route or something like that, now. Now it's time, you know, to mm -hmm. to give my my legitimate opinion. But, you know, I sit in the stands and I'm just there for him. And, and I just tell him, hey, look, this is all about you now. It's not about me. It's not about what I have accomplished. You know, you just, you know, go work hard, uh, put the work in and just be yourself. We absolutely hope you enjoyed this video. If you want more from us. Hit that subscribe button for all videos, full episodes, and exclusive content from the show. And don't forget to find all facts, no breaks, on Apple, Spotify, or wherever you get your podcasts.